in our final tournament starting here on Wednesday, the MEAC firing up tonight in Norfolk, Virginia at the Norfolk Scope. Goes through Saturday, March 12th. Uh, same as most of these little leagues, ESPN Plus for anything before you get to the final. That'll be on ESPN2 Saturday. Uh, Norfolk was your champion last year in a weird tournament that was, the apple cart was definitely upset by the COVID. There was a six team tournament turned into a five team and when the team pulled out, Norfolk ended up only playing two teams. They were the bottom two teams in the entire tournament and they did get the win. I don't think it's because they were bad and lucky. They are a good team. They're your good team again this year. They are 12 and two in conference, 21 and six overall. They have a fair lead over the field in the standings and they are your overall number one seed. Looking at the bracket here, a little unfortunate that they're in a league that doesn't reward the one seed much more than giving up Delaware State first up. There's no home court. There's no receding. There's no bias for them. They will have to play three games just like anybody else here. Uh, the only wrinkle is they do get an extra day off if they win their quarterfinal matchup, just like uh, Howard would against Coppin State down there. Either way, it is a 16 seed coming out of this conference, as usual. Um, at the odds, though, you can see Norfolk State is a big favorite. Not big, big enough. You know, minus 200 implies winning this almost 66% of the time here. Minus 190 for them, plus 450 for Howard, your second seed. And then Morgan State, Coppin State, NC Central, and MD Eastern Shore all the way is down there. Delaware State, plus 3700, 370 to 1. If you ever wanted to throw a buck on something really stupid as they did not win a conference game this year. Uh, for me, I just can't. I can't make a case against Norfolk State. I tried. Howard is a team that got beat pretty badly by Norfolk State both games this year. I can't uh, I can't find a team that's better at anything than them. They're the best offense in the league. They're the best defense in the league. The only thing that really stuck them stuck them with a loss here was their free throw shooting. Uh, they did have a game against NC Central. They dropped by missing 11 free throws and uh, uncharacteristic 20 turnovers. But again, it was a road game. They haven't lost a home game all year. While this is not their home arena, it is their hometown. They will be playing across town in the scope rather than Eccles Hall. So for me, I cannot find a long shot I like here. And I will just have to bet Norfolk State and hope I get the uh, lucky bounce like South Dakota State and cash out. Real chalky one here.